I realized the other day the new Luxa Glow is rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white I'm gonna use. There's a lot more than these, but this is what we're gonna use. I wanna do a rainbow look. So this is ultraviolet. This is like a white that glows really pretty. I need to do some swatches for you guys to see it. I never thought I'd be so in love with glow in the dark gel polish. I'm gonna cure this first layer, but I am, I love it. So look how pretty it is. It's like really good opaque white, but kind of transparent effect. Mm, I just love it. I'm putting this on my nails next. Cure this. Oh, I can't get over it. Okay, sorry. Here we go. I'm gonna do a dot of each color along here and it's kind of like a fun it's not a pastel rainbow but it's not your traditional primary kind of colors mixed to rainbow and i like that about this so i'm just putting a little bit down on my surface that isn't porous i can wipe it up after so that i have like an art palette to work from and i'm just taking a little art brush these are linked in my instagram bio or if you're watching on youtube i'll link it below and I'm just making my first little curve or swirl across the nail. I'm gonna try to not cover it like that every time, guys, but I needed the angle. And then I'm flash curing in between just so they don't melt together. I love a melting rainbow, but that's not what I'm after this time. And you can just follow the line. You're mimicking it. I think the trick here is to make sure that as you go down, you're getting the edges. So on a client's hand, I would be pulling her skin to the side and rotating them more so that I make sure I finish it all the way to the edges, like right here. And then I go back and over and smooth it and make sure it's just how I want. Pretty great pigment, number one for a gel polish and number two for a glow in the dark gel polish. It's not all gritty. It goes down really smooth and pretty. It's awesome. Okay, the other thing with this following the curve is as you go down, sometimes you don't accentuate it as much and towards the bottom of the mimic curve, it becomes more flat versus curved. So make sure you are doing the curve before you flash cure and go to the next color. It can help to go halfway and halfway for your angles, which is totally fine. Do what you gotta do on your client to get what you need to get, guys. And my clients, as long as they trust me, I'll have them relax and I just maneuver their hand around wherever I need them. I am cleaning my brush off, by the way, just with a tiny wipe in between colors here so I don't mix them. I want good contrast between colors. Get this last one on, then I will do a full cure to make sure we're cured all the way through at that curve you guys that's so freaking cute by itself i love it so dang much but it glows so i'm taking you with me here little off camera moment i'm gonna take you over to a dark room this is hard to film by yourself but here we go i want you to see it glow because they glow the coolest colors here's the best attempt hard by myself i know getting the light off <gasps> i'm in love you guys, I'll link these. They are so fun, but I love rainbow for March.